on today's episode, we'll be talking with Ong. He is Malaysia's, um, I believe he's Malaysia's one and only violin maker. I'm Patrick Lim and I'm a first-time entrepreneur. I founded a company manufacturing and designing urban city bags here in Malaysia. And because I was new to business, I had tons of questions and challenges that needed answers. I started talking with veteran entrepreneurs and they would tell me these great origin stories of theirs. On this show, we talk to entrepreneurs about how they brought their crazy ideas to life. We get to hear their stories of adventure and challenges on how they started from zero to hero. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not a violin player, but I'm a violin maker. So, this is what I'm doing. And, uh, This is my real career. Alright, morning on. Yeah. Good morning. Um, so let's talk about yourself before uh, we talk about before we talk about your workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, let's share a little bit about you know who you are, how you first started, and you know how you came about uh, violin making. I'm a, I'm a Ipo guy. I'm from an uh, before I'm mean twelve years old. Uh, I'm I'm learning. I'm just piano for three months if I'm not mistaken I can't sit I just can't sit down and practice so I give up the piano lesson mm. after a few years then I asked my mother I said I want to join the Yamaha organ again uh -huh. like less than one year then I quit the, the I mean the, the program after I, I, I went to my secondary school I play guitar because I want to get a girl <laughs> make fun yeah yeah everyone is playing guitar so I just try to play guitar so after graduate, I'm like thinking, what should I study? Because during that time, a lot of people study computer, business, everything. Then I don't have a sign, I can't build a house. Mm. So what should I do? Go for music. I thought music is just play for fun and everything. I'm just very, very easy job, something I, I'm thinking. So when I'm going to school, I'm like crazy. <laughs> I sit down around me, all the students, they can hear all the music. I mean, like they play, they know they can name out. It's a F, F sharp, G, or I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I have no idea. I can't. But I'm very serious. I'm really start from the beginning. I think that time I'm 19 to 20 years old. Uh -huh. I'm practice at home. I'm not playing anything. I'm not going out. I'm not sure outside. Just stay at home. School after school, home school home. Just practice and study. And during that time, my English is very, very bad because I'm from I'm from a Chinese Chinese um, born and then a family is talking speak Mandarin. Then I'm from a Chinese school. So do you feel that language is a barrier? Yes, it's very. That's um and even in the in now I'm still need to study. I need to study English. Of course, mm -hmm. I I not much time. English and uh, Italian because I still contact with Italy, so I need the um the good conversation with them. It's not very hard. Mm, so um, it's everything is uh, ourself, myself. So I need to study, work hard. So I choose music. When I play the first, I'm I don't want to be a sectionist. I don't want to be a musician. Something I play outside. Maybe sometime we play, play the rock music or what as band member, band presentation. We can play outside just for fun. But my dream is I want. I want to be a producer mm. to make movie soundtrack or something about all, all, all related to music, uh, to a movie. But someone to ask me to join with the orchestra and join with other things because he said, if you want to be a producer, you need to know a lot of things, you need to study a lot of knowledge, not just the technology thing. Uh, even classical history, so I choose a double bass, and then join the orchestra, play the Chinese orchestra, orchestra, chamber, jazz group, everything. So these are these instruments was um, what my teacher gave me. It's from it's a German bass, 1964 I think. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So actually, uh, sound good, wood good. But the problem is the setup and crack because the 
the previous user they don't know how to take care of this. Mm. So in our Malaysia, no people can handle about this. How to repair? You need to open the top, top wood, and then repair the inside, the crack, and everything. It's a uh, another story, another knowledge. I'm look for luthiers from outside, uh, from Italy and from the Switzerland. But it cost me twenty thousand. Just fix the base. What's wow. The, <laughs> what's the point? I need to pay for twenty thousand. And you can during, buy a new one. Yeah. During that time, we are using the the base like no idea what is the base and then right, how right. much is an acoustic instrument cost so we like okay what is this so expensive why not just go for study because at the time I'm, I'm like uh, I'm still choosing I should continue my study to a master or higher grade for, on my music career be a, be a good player join the orchestra in the future or what or I'm a uh, I'd be the yeah. I maker I mean I study another I study another kind of uh, knowledge. Mm. I'm, I'm not much. I don't have much of a saving. So I think I remember during that. Um, in my account, I think I left like ten thousand grand. So I'm like, just apply. I don't care. <laughs> I apply everything. The worldwide even I apply the music school. The end. Uh, Italy, they sent me the, the 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 what. Say invite me is fine. You can come for the interview for interview first, not mm. anything for interview. So I just went. I backpack, just went and go for interview. Then I enroll. They give me a full scar. I mean the free free course. So I need, just need to pay hundred fifty per year, and then all the material tools the school will provide to you. Mm. So this is my first year, and I don't. I not much money. I just say. Okay, I just learned something new. I don't care how long I can stay in Italy, what I should learn. I just want to learn something new and that's it. That time I have no idea what is a making. I thought making, repairing and tuning is the same thing. Actually it's three kind of different 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 knowledge. So this is my first step. But I step into the very making. So you, you step in it willingly or, or because you earlier you said you wanted to yeah, be a, a okay after. Um, I mean, after the school grad, I mean the the music finished my music course. Mm. I came out. Everyone is ask, ask, asking me to play the double bass, join oh. the orchestra. I mean, I just play, 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 and then earn money because we need money. Yeah, we need to survive and continue our dream. Especially in Italy, how what was the standard Before living there? Before Italy, in it in Malaysia, we still you because already... our art art worker is uh, quite hard to. Yes. Cover our living. Yeah. So we need to do a lot of things. Business. Uh. Business. Con. The performance or corporate event. Uh -huh. well, everything we need to do. So this is our first step. So the end. And my most of the time is just sit down. Open the music store every day. Practice. Evening rehearsal or concert or another performance. So my life is changed during mm. that time. My dream is very far. <laughs> Yeah, but so I need to like th during that time you say okay yes I need to face the the real real world I need to work first work then I only can fulfill my what my dream what yeah. I want to do yeah but <laughs> I be a I be a performer yeah 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 I be a performer now I'm be a band maker I'm still playing I'm still playing tonight I got another another performance uh huh yeah so. So, so how how long do you take to, to learn how to make violin? But was, was that something that you know you went in and you said that you're okay. this is this is what I want to do for the rest of my life or no 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 before that I'm uh, I went in I just just work I don't mm. care but because the Italian is very slow motion and then the progress is very slow the one you to know is like you feel it you're not just like study we are. Because art thing is compared to other um, other other knowledge is different. Like language, we just study and speech more and conversation more than we can improve. That like art is like passion, passion and um, something like your experience. Right. You need to apply on the instrument. So is you need to feel it. This is the tricky part. Like I make a head in school. I can do very ugly. I can I can finish by one day. Uh. 
but in school I spend one year just, for just one. to make one yeah one after finish one if you're very fast after finish then teacher will give you another one I can't do it again <laughs> I'm like okay yeah this is the practice from Italian Italian is different feel and um Luckily, I I met a lot of friends outside, and uh, some other boutiques, other maker outside. Actually, there are a lot of maker other people outside. So I'm um, after school, go home, just work, work. Don't understand, call friend, go going to to their house, having dinner because I don't have money. That time, sometime uh like I'm not enough money, they will cook for me. I will go there and eat and work. They will they help me a lot. Actually, they help me a lot. Outside people more than a school teacher. School teacher like every day just coffee and <laughs> and uh, talk about not say bullshit like just like your yeah, experience, your yeah, life experience. So you need to feel and stay there and then uh, this is making. That's the training. Like. From the eye, not from any calculation. Because uh, Italian making way is a method compared to our US. It's different. US uh -huh. they use all the machine, all yeah. the measurement, they will count properly Precision. everything. Yeah. But Italian just this one. And then look and do. So then they were they more traditionalist, like they, they, yes. they, they stick to the tradition of making. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's true. The Americans are more uh, industrialized. So way. this is what we, we we need to learn. Ever Malaysian we don't have this kind of knowledge. And then we don't have the passion. And then as Malaysian do we actually have that kind of uh, uh, patience? Uh, even me, I'm still training. <laughs> so I'm still working. So it must have been really tough going yeah, through. Yes, 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 yes. And then you need a lot of uh, money support too. For you. I mean, you staying because you can't put your. Okay, if you got a lot of trouble on your living cost, living problem, mm. you impossible. Just sit at home, do a work, for just make a violin for three months or two months, and you without any income. Yeah, because but yeah, Euro people or some Japanese or Korean, they can do it. They can do it. Even the one day, just take one meal. They just sit down, sit at home, and just work. But they can do that. They can do that. They really can do that. And then the meal is very cheap. I, I pocket don't have money in uh, Italy. My, I'm not saying tough, but it's fine for me. I'm spending ten euro per week. And euro means like 10 ringgit. I go shopping mall and sh shopping center, buy a chicken, buy a rice, but this is for for me for one week. I can survive. <laughs> but in Malaysia, I'm like, oh, you cannot. <laughs> I don't know why. This is different culture. Actually. We can we feel that. In Standard the living as well. Uh. Yes, true. Okay. So let's talk about, uh, yeah, so we found out about how you came about you know, mm -hmm. violin making, but what made you decide to come back to Malaysia to pursue oh. violin making? Why didn't you stay back in Italy? Okay, first is because of my parents. Mm. I'm, uh, I have another uh, sister, so uh, younger than me. And uh, during that time, she's still studying. I mean, in local U, mm. study psychology. So I'm the only, I'm the only child, uh, son. So my parents is like, oh, okay, you can go, you can go, but if possible, please come back early. And uh, even the second year, I got a scholarship from Italian embassy, right. Italian government support. I'm 700 per, per month. This 700 actually is a lot. <laughs> I even can go travel. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm no need to apply like people, they apply the, mm, the kind of a, what, the medical, the business thing, the, the, the course from under them. They need to uh, go through a lot, a lot of documents. I no need. I just put my letter. I'm enrolled in school. He said, Ah, oh, you are the first person that I give you directly. Oh. Yeah, I'm the chosen one, the first person chosen one to give me. Yeah, okay. Then he gave me a 700. I'm like, Okay, I'm very happy. I can survive. But um, uh, I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy. To, I'm in Italy. But my parents, they still worry about me mm. because I'm alone there. And uh, sometimes, if I'm not enough money, I will call them. They will scare one day it's like that. So I'm like thinking, ah. I just go back because I when I start on 13 13 years old I already stay in hostel okay because my grandma is passed away okay so no one else to take care of me and when I when I was kid 
so he sent me to the hostel uh, school. I'm staying in hostel from until um, 18 years old. 19, then I came up to KL, continue my another journey, I mean, study music. So, I'm like more than 13 years, um, 15 years, I'm not going, I'm not with them. So I'm like, at the end, I still choose to come back to Malaysia because of two of them. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I don't care my career, even I say, maybe I just study for two years, uh, my skill is not enough, knowledge is not enough, but I don't care, they don't get that, okay, I just come back and I try to find a work, I mean find a job outside. I don't think people will ask, get me, because I'm making. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I focus on making. I'm not focused on repairing or do service or anything. I'm, I'm not doing that. But I need, <laughs> I'm still doing, because I need to cover. Before that, the years ago, I need to cover all my living. I need to earn, I'll earn the money to make this table. You made this table yeah, as well? Yeah, I made this table as well, yes. Amazing. Uh, custom make, and then <laughs> draw a graph and do everything. This one. So you have to learn make. carpentry. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so I need to earn all the money to do this. So I'm like, I need to do a lot of things. Even I go for performance every day. Um, but I'm happy. When I come back, the first few months is very tough. And uh, parents is happy. Then uh, I met a new friend. They support, keep supporting me. And if you're not enough, just come to my restaurant. I'll pay your bill. I mean, I just eat, no need. Yeah. This is my f I remember, this is my first five months in Malaysia. Uh. Yeah. Thanks my friend, thanks a lot to support thing. This one this kind of a career. Yeah, otherwise it would be impossible. Can just that You have to be like a Japanese right, la, like that's Japanese, that's same <laughs> like a Japanese. <laughs> one meal yeah, one meal. A day. Yeah. I remember when I came back, I, I got a I got a beer, <laughs> I got a food, nice food, everything. I'm like, no need to pay, I'm like, okay, thank you. Thanks man. Just all my friends. Okay. So what, what were the challenges of, uh, of, of doing this business on, on, on year one? Yes, year one. Making my plan, I bought the wood. Here almost like 20 set of my making wood. So my plan is six, one year. And you have to get all this wood from Italy? Italy, Italy. I bought and then I import all. So, and this is not like when you buy, you can use on the spot. You need to put it for natural dry at least six to ten years. Some wood I would, is from two thousand four and some is from nineteen ninety eight. Mm. I bought it a long time ago. I mean ten years old. The kind of wood I bring back. So I, I told them. I, I told them say to the um, the wood dealer. I said I must <laughs> give me some few wood, few set of wood. I can make it on the spot. Yeah. Other I don't mind. I can store it. Yeah. So this one it cost me a lot actually, almost like twenty grand, and two grand. So and now um, what else? Okay, uh, first year, first year the harder is um, I'm I'm trying to focus on making, and study to um, make it, but it's impossible really because uh, I do not much time. Mm. So I need to do a lot of servicing like making a repairing a bowl. We had we had a bow bow hair and do a lot of small matters, small stuff thing. So they make me late. The last oh, yeah, year yeah. I only finished one violin. Right. One. So you're behind because of yeah, this. Yeah, really behind. You have no choice, I send a living. But now it's getting better so I got more time to to continue my making. And uh, you can see all all the case here, all the all need to service. It's not a making thing. It's people send in the new service. So I'm trying to settle all here. Then I will stop the servicing. Start focus on making. Because while I fix my price, I'm not saying too cheap. Not high. Not high. Not too high. Because in our Malaysia price now, in the one China make instrument is around ten thousand to twenty thousand. I fix my price is around fifteen to twenty, mm. with a with a customer custom made case. Case. Yeah. So this is what my selling point. Wait, are you in competition with uh, with China, in terms of uh, pricing? Is is China uh, makers as gruesome as China China industrialists? 
China actually, actually they got two kinds of uh, production line. Mm. One is uh, called factory, we'll be able to say it's a factory line. Another they will mass produce and then they will yeah, sell at a really yes. low price. Yes. Do you have that problem? No. Because we are different class. Yeah, we are focusing on like people come and ask for uh, ask for ask for order, uh, right. ordering. I will custom make what you want. What kind of a model you want? Oh, uh, this is Stradivari model. This a, this is the mold, Stradi Stra Stra mold, or you want the Guanelli mold or something? And uh, what wood you want? You want the big frame, or you want the small one, or you want the one piece wood? Mm -hmm. That's uh, all different. You can right. you, you choose what you what, what you want. And the next thing, even you can sign, you can sign inside. This is just for you. And the label, you will, you want to name your violin, name it, name, just name it, and I will make a cert for you. Totally customized. Yeah, totally customized. And then uh, the measurement, I will tell you how long, how big, all very details. What wood I'm using, what color I'm using, all the details is inside here. So Something you can't get industrialized. Yes, and for one of my calculations, I need three months to finish one violin. But is, is there a market in Malaysia for custom violins? Slow. Mm. It's very slow. Do you feel that it's building up? Because no one else knows about this. Right. They thought everything is custom made. Yes. They thought everything is just handmade or mass produced. They have no idea about like this kind of working place or we just small place and just work. They thought everything is from a machine. Yeah. You know, I mean, they have no idea about this. So um, same the, thing. They always think that there is a machine that you know that shits yes. out the uh, violins or yes. shits out bags. So the the previous year, I um, spent a lot of time. I explained to a client from what I'm doing, the how to make a violin. Got, actually, got a lot, a lot of method, but make me uh, a lot of method and a different way to make a violin. But just what you choose. Hmm. Um, what I'm doing is Cremona style and Italy what the the, the, the the style of the making is what I'm doing mm. but is there a lot of violin players in Malaysia is yes, it yes a lot um, one of my co previous customer I I'm thankful of them local musician mm -hmm. they're very supportive and uh, they bought a lot of my teacher instrument because they know Italian is not say not say it's the best but Italian is invaluable the value mm. was that even you buy a not a famous maker, but it's Italy and from a Cremona, people will appreciate this. Yeah. So they're most like a, of course the sound is good and the workmanship is good. The next thing is because they buy and it's look for future, they will grow up. Every year is five percent, at least three to five percent to grow up. I mean the pricing. If the maker suddenly like got a competition or pass away then it will be double or triple the value because yes. there is no opportunity to get any more yes 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 so this is the chances why they are why they look for me we know we know each other everything because we, in this industry before right. that so they look for me and buy the instrument and we what I'm selling is cheaper than uh, the, the other country in mm. our Asia because um, my cost is low so and, and the next reason because they were our friend and people is buying a national symphony orchestra the members from them and from uh, the concert mistress from RTM mm. some MPO player buy from me and a co collector some private collector they buy they bought it so and we do have that kind of that kind of community here in Malaysia yes, so you, you, you're not 100% relying on international business uh? But slowly, I need <laughs> yeah, because our, eventually our, you have our to. demand is not that big in yeah. Malaysia. Correct. Yeah. yeah, if I'm, if um, this is actually is two, two, two type, two, two kind of thing. If I'm just make the instrument for myself, actually, Malaysia is enough because I only got both one hand. Right. Hands. And my produce line is just six year, uh, six violin per year. Then I think I don't need to go to uh, I mean to international. Let's just finish our local business first. If you are talking about import the Italian instrument, then yeah, you need to open another another country. You need to promote to other country like Singapore, mm. something like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
So, um, what are the what are the top three things you have in mind? Uh, mm-hmm. If let's say any Malaysian would like to go into instrument making, okay. First, this is not a uh, earning money. <laughs> this kind of this cannot earn money, and uh, it's not a good business if you really be a maker. Maker two kind of a maker. One, they make. They ask. They get another worker to make together. They, right. Okay. Then we name is like workshop produce or what. But for us. Because we want to follow what I what I learned a lot. I mean, in Italy, my teacher told me, you are not an, you are not study about the skill or everything. Even you want to study skill, even you go to, you can search the internet. You know how to make a violin. Yeah, that's right. The problem you come. Uh, I mean, the main reason you come to Italy, you need to learn is what the Stradivari was. The three hundred our our the legend maker. They really hardworking. They focus on their work. They appreciate that this thing. They work very hard and hundred percent. Give all the passion inside. This is what the Italian do, and you, not cheat. You can't. You don't cheat it. Even if you want to do a true business, I mean real business with, with people. Even for myself, I'm like I can ask someone to buy. Even or I can import from China. I just put a label, my name. It still work. Yeah. Yeah, but we are not doing this. So I open the concept, open my table. You can come to VC. You can sit on the sofa. Just have a just look. to see you yes. work. I will take a picture because now we have a technology. We can yes. take a picture to do the record. Yes. To show you the progress, the processes, yeah, and all that. Yeah. What everything. So this is first thing. You can earn money. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, the violin making is a art thing, and um, try to not to. To business, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So it can't be a business. It, it be has a, to be an art yes, form, yes, rather. Yes, yes. And uh, my mission people say always say, um, "You are not a businessman." Because I say yes, I'm, but I'm trying. I, I have to learn. I you have to, to. I have to be a businessman right. because I need. I need to protect myself. Pre- okay, so I, I I face a lot of problem. Yes, I'm now still face a lot of problem, but. Um, I still need to learn a lot of this kind of skill. I'm not saying I'm bad, what, but I need to protect for myself. Yes. And I can't treat people like what people say. I, I need to explain to them, okay, this price, what you pay for me is for the material and for the varnishing. Because I, making is very fast, actually making is very fast. Mm. Just the varnish. Varnish I almost take me one month to oh. finish one, vi- one violin. For it to cure and... Yeah. One day, one layer, or two layers, and right. I need forty to sixty layers, and to to finish one varnish, I need to polish. I think a lot of time. You pay the money is for the maker or for the make people who you appreciate for the art piece, not for the violin. What I'm trying to tell people about this, I'm re- thanks. I'm very thank you, and thanks for people is supporting me that because they know. Maybe my sound is not too good because I'm still young. I'm still I'm not expert, and uh, but they still buy my money. Mm. Yeah, I'm still ordering. Thank you. And uh, yeah, and two things, three. Yeah, two, two things. So, yeah. One more is no idea. Maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Last and final question. Where do you think you are right now? Do zero or hero? Zero or hero? From the practical, I think I'm still zero. Or zero point five, <laughs> um, experience I'm not much seriously, and um, if you say I'm heroes, I'm not saying that. But some client they're very happy to see me, especially the kind of auntie. Uh. Yeah, they look for me. They say, "You are come, you come back. We met you. We're very happy. Why? We know a lot. We know more about the instruments. I'm not saying outside people is cheating." I'm not saying that. Just that if you want to do a business, this thing come one thousand. You want to earn money, you have to mark up the margin. Yes. At least two hundred percent, twenty percent. So yes. you sell five, six thousand, or even more than ten k, twenty k. So some people they ch- not saying cheap, just that the, the markup price is very high. Right. And the instrument is not in the value. Right. The so overpriced. price. A lot of people they bought. They not say gonna, but they're facing this problem. And Israel, mm. after instrument buy like few two years, then the the arching of 
the construction will corrupt. Oh. Actually, the one they corrupt, the whole violin is gone. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah so is that like they're very sad about this why they spent twenty thousand or five thousand ten thousand buy an instrument but after a few years they will, they will corrupt or they will spoil it so after i came back i met them a lot of time i like having a high tea with them uh, even in dinner they pay me on dinner lunch time they ask a lot about this knowledge ask me how tough i am and staying there and then i explained to them how, them how to take care of the instrument how you choose the instrument what the auntie said, <laughs> I save a lot of people. I mean, save a lot of money. Yeah. Although they are not buying instrument from me or through through me to a uh, to another dealer or what, but at least they appreciate this. I'm very happy on this. Yeah. So, but for me, I'm still say I'm on zero point five maybe. <laughs> zero point five to one. Yeah, because I'm focused on the practical things. It's not. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. But before we go, do you have anything you want to plug? Do you have a, a, a concert or a performance that you'd uh, like to, to get people to come and, and, and actually, see your work? Actually, I'm, um, I'm, a arrange, I'm a in, the, in, in this year, I will have a few plans. First, I need to bring in my teacher. So, he's, he's, a, he's a one of our school teacher, and he's very expert on restoring and uh, making if the if the student and uh, I'm mean graduate from the Cremona school in the past 25 years I think they all know about this teacher and sure <laughs> my teacher will, they taught that taught, taught the student before so I would I'm trying to bring him in then of course I need to count I need to cover all the all the expenses of expenses getting in here, yeah. yeah yeah so that is the first thing so I will organize one uh, using his violin his uh, the string quartet two violin viola and cello to I mean to, I mean the having a concert there and play so this is my first plan then secondly for myself I'm really really want to like um, play a concert, I mean organize a con chamber, a classical chamber and play with the double bass but um, unfortunately I have no time <laughs> really no time but I'm join, still joining a lot of uh, orchestra so this is what my plan is just for my teacher and I hope my recital is coming soon <laughs> I hope <laughs> but I will take, take time, in time so if anyone is interested in uh, helping you or supporting you to get your teacher in, how do they contact you? Uh, yeah, you can search my Facebook and then you can contact me directly on Facebook and uh, you can email me, text me, everything. This, this is the easy, I mean, the easy way we can talk privately about this. Um, okay, this what I want to mention is I bring in my teacher, I wouldn't make any profit. Mm. Just I, I just want to introduce this to my all the all the friends the community, community yeah. and uh, all people that don't know about instrument. Yes. Yes, this one. I mean, I just want to introduce and maybe future more people can appreciate this kind of the craftsman work up the us. So I just need to cover cover his fly and everything. Then it's it's okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, I don't know, I mean it's luck or uh, God bless this, I have no idea. The, about this week, uh, more than 4 media has come. No, that's together. very good yeah, news. I mean, but all is from a Chinese, <laughs> okay. I mean from a Chinese newspaper or magazine. But very happy that every, every, people, every people will know about this. Any, any, any media would be of a lot of help for people like us. Um, for, for you are, like you are the person is very helpful. You come to co contact me directly, and actually other people is also contact me directly. But um, the this is a two thing is you compare you and to other make other reporter. They are not uh, art people. Right. They are not doing. They are not creative. Uh, not creative. They're reporters. Own, they're, they're yeah, journalists. They not create his own business. He right. know. He don't know how tough am I, and uh, he no idea what is art yet. So what I saw the, from the news, um, they, know, they really can't write out what's the meaning of, uh, of sure, the sure. instrument or what should I, what should I, what, what I'm saying, this kind of, yeah. 
But it, it would definitely bring some value. It, yeah, because be, I'm sure you see some spikes in your in your website. You know. Yeah, yeah. Other, well, other because yeah, about my website, I I have a fa- fans for the Facebook right the page. I no time to manage it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, my website, and I, my website I registered almost for a year. Then <laughs> I no time to like to pay to a people. Yeah. yeah. Even I asked someone to pay me. My friend said, oh, "Yeah, I have. I can help you. You how much you need to pay me? Like thousand or something." During that time, I even my pocket only left two hundred. How to pay you a thousand? Yeah. Yeah. Right, even right. the, the support. You see, my I said I I charge my client is five to six k something like that. I'm like. I mean, like two hundred. What I can do, I just I delay it and I try to learn it myself and do. But no time, really no time, and no not much fun support. Yeah. Maybe I'll give you some pointers. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank so you. So thank you very much for the time. Yeah, really thanks, appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, thanks. It's been great talking with thanks, you. Thanks.